Hi guys, uh, this is Samana2183 Aquatic Lover 31 on Instagram and uh, Andrew Bazooka in Facebook uh, I'd like to give you guys a quick uh, a quick update, first update of 20, 2017 I think uh, If you guys remember, this was a community tank uh, and uh, before you guys say that uh, this looks awesome as a planted tank. Well, yes, it is a planted tank of sorts, but uh, actually it's uh, my new project. It's a scape of the Pantan, one of uh, the scenes in the Pantanal wetlands of South America. Now, the Pantanal itself, uh, Pantanal itself is a huge uh, area uh, in uh, Brazil spanning quite a, a bit of uh, around the Mato, Gro uh, Mato Grosso del Sol which I mean like covers quite a, a very very big uh, area and uh, this scape that I'm making is just one of uh, the portions uh, all the plants that I use here are found in the Pantanal as you can see that one big uh, one big forest of Kabomba Aquatica uh, at the back and uh, some uh, uh, Ludwigia Inclinada over here and uh, just some uh, Bacopa uh, right in the front uh, this, script, uh, this biotope is only a few, been a few days old and uh, some Liliopsis um, all over in the front my plans for this is like uh, let these guys, let the plants take over uh, as if you guys uh, see videos of the Pantanal, the, there's there are really big big forests of like uh, stem plants all over there, uh, like the Vigia, like uh, uh, Kabomba and, and uh, Bacopa, everywhere is is uh, can be found. So I'm just planning to let this uh, skate go wild, this plants go wild to fill up the in front space, the Bacopa to go, grow up and. Uh, grow tall so I might need uh, just to trim this uh, bacopa a bit when, when it uh, grows too tall uh, so that you know you can see the kabomba forest uh, and the wigia back there uh, for inhabitants wise I have only uh, plan my only plans for this is just to get some uh, serpent tetras maybe around 12 uh, to fill up the space, you know, because Serpe Tetras, if you can see, if you see any videos, I mean, like, considering about uh, any videos that feature the Pananal, you, you might see and you will see uh, Serpe, Tet Serpe Tetras uh, in that area. All right, let's move on to the, my next tank, which is this one. My Cribensis tank is doing well uh, so far. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see any mating going on in uh, between the, my cribs, uh, but at least my uh, rosy buffs and uh, zebra daniels and cribs are still, you know, doing quite well. Plants are really, really doing well. My lo tiger lotus has like been really, really doing well. I mean, like uh, it's sprouting new, new leaves, as you can see. Uh, some of them are already uh, growing uh, to the surface. My butchers are somewhat okay. They are not saying they are not doing uh, badly, but they are not doing good as well. So I mean, like I've been taking care of this. Uh, hopefully, I think I have to take care of these guys uh, a bit more. Uh, the only additions for this tank is uh, I got a bit too much uh, Kabomba and uh, Bacopa for my Pantana biotope. So, I'll just uh, uh, put them right over there. Uh, at the back, there's the Bacopa clump over there as well as uh, the... Kabomba right here and right here and uh, back there so probably this tank is going to be a really really bushy uh, 
uh, escape with and all the plants over there. All right, let's move on to my main tank, which is uh, this tank. If you can see, that's, those are my five geos, my uh, geophagus tenuparius. And these guys are really doing well. I mean like, you can see, these are, you know, uh, geos, I, I, know a lot of I know a lot of people like uh, geos, uh, and uh, the, uh, I'm no exception, exception to that rule. But if you can see if uh, this biotope is doing quite well, I mean, that, uh, except I'm trying to get uh, algae to grow on the woods, but so far I've not been ha having any luck. Uh, maybe I need, whether I, I don't know whether it's the lighting or what, I'm not so sure. But the scape wise, I'm quite very satisfied, in fact. Uh, and it looks more natural with uh, all the leaf litter, fallen branches, fallen twigs. The only downside uh, for biotopes like this is like probably if one of you're one of those guys that want to see uh, your fishes always in the open and uh, that's not going to happen I mean like with this kind of natural environment uh, with the big big wood tangles you can expect your <clears throat> your fishes that utilize this kind of uh, environment like your talking cats your doradids uh, as well as like your ancestors, your sucker mouths, your black holes to really, really <clears throat> utilize this kind of wood tangle to hide uh, and hide amongst the roots and tangles and everything. And even the geos sometimes use them. But the good side about setting up something like this. By the way, my cypress I think is uh, doing okay. Uh, haven't been, uh, haven't seen them grow. I mean, like uh, too much, but I think they are still growing. Anyway, uh, back to what I'm saying. If you can, you guys set this up properly. I mean, like uh, give the, the fishes that like the proper environment and proper conditions. I mean, you will see them exhibit the natural behavior if you can see over over there like my geophagus sand is a like for those people who want to keep either a biotope or just a, a tank for geophag uh, geophagus i must uh, recommend that you guys provide sand uh, for for them because that is uh, what they need in the wild and that is what uh, their natural behavior is in the wild. If you can see it while they are schooling together, and yes, uh, geos, if possible, if you guys have a big tank uh, or the right size tank, I try to get at least uh, five of these guys because they are like uh, they have a social hierarchy amongst themselves. And I think uh, rather than just just getting one or two, is is you know it's better to get a group, small group like this, so that you can see the packing order, their social behavior with each other. But like like I said, getting sand or something like this for the your geos is very essential because that's what uh, their natural behavior is like. They sift sand uh, all day long to you know feed, although. Uh, when these guys are accustomed to, to your feeding behavior and, and feeding style, they probably uh, will rise, rise up to you know the middle of the water column here you know to grab any pellets or everything that you might uh, put in. But still, when you just uh, leave them alone like this, and you have the sand, you have the right environment for them, they will, you will see their natural behavior. So I mean like I'm not saying that you guys all should you know go for the biotope route although it's uh, it's quite enjoyable for me to watch I mean like uh, my fishes uh, displayed uh, naturally I mean like what they are supposed to in the wild and I think I mean like um, this is something that I think is you know 
it's growing in the hobby, uh, but uh, I think that yeah, more people should do it. But I mean, like that's just my opinion. And uh, what's most important is like uh, what works for you and what makes you happy. In a sense that uh, you know, if it makes have me happy, I can just keep. Uh, a ton of fishes in in a uh, improper size tank and, and that's it. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. What I mean is like find a style that uh, works for you. But you must remember this: the health and well-being of these fishes is the most important. You can have, you know, like. You can say I like I like a certain kind of fish and everything, but you must do your research before you, you keep those. Because like as IFG as Jay says, you know like the negativity in this hobby is like really really overwhelming when like people don't research and you know take time to, to find out how big their fishes will grow or or, or or how 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 big your tank your tank is, and you know they just cram a, a big bunch of fishes in that inside just for their own pleasure and not for the fishes. Yeah, I think uh, that's about it for this update. I'll probably uh, get more up, hopefully get more updates. Uh, as I go along, I'm sorry I've been not been uh, doing videos, been uh, quite uh, busy with with work and uh, everything. But uh, I promise I'll try to, you know, crank up more videos for you guys to watch. Uh, whether it's species profiles or maybe just like uh, updates on my bi updates on my biotope tanks and everything. Oh, and I'm just wondering why uh, there's just these few fishes inside. Uh, no, my fishes have the other fishes are not that uh, have not died or anything they are just in a quarantine and uh, uh, holding pawn for now uh, when you know I'll introduce them you know slowly one by one to to fill up this place uh, again okay guys uh, thanks for watching this uh, please uh, comment like and subscribe and uh, give me your thoughts of, of you know the updates and everything Thank you guys, uh, I'll see you again, and then, as always, uh, this is Summoner2183, signing off, bye bye.